This is Tom Duty, middle-aged American living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you would type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search from my site. This is Uber Eats. In a recent video I described, I made this comparison between Uber Eats and, and, and Navy SEALs training, and it seemed sensible as I did it, and that when I listened, it sounded ridiculous. The, the, the comparison that I made is valid. The attempt I made to make that comparison is invalid. So this is my second attempt. The idea was that this doing Uber Eats is kind of like a training drill. And, and I got lost on this Navy SEALs thing. So the part of the Navy SEALs comparison that is valid is this idea that if you're going to do effective Navy SEALs training, you not only want to put these trainees in some type of situation that they might encounter on an assignment, in addition to that, you want to create this sense that it's authentic. If they go out and do the drill as if they're in a gym and there really isn't anything at stake, then it's just a workout. But if it's truly a challenging training mission, there's some sense of surprise, there's some sense of consequence for, miss, for low performance. And an effective training exercise is going to capture that sense of authenticity. So that authenticity, uh, the goal in effective training, is present. The authenticity, the goal in effective training is present in Uber Eats. And especially on one occasion when I had a share bike out for a total of 24 minutes, 34 minutes. I had a bubble tea to deliver. In the process, I took a quick call from my wife, which was not stressful. In addition to that, I had three phone calls on this on-call work that I do where I send invoices, and that was stressful. On the first call, I sent an invoice. On the second call, I was asked to resend it, and I did. What I had overlooked is that I was asked to resend it to a different address. So the first time it was clearly the clients, in this case the customer attempting to purchase our services, it, it was the, the client's error. And the second time I overlooked the new address and just resend it the second time. Well, of course, if it didn't work the first, you send to the same address the second time. It's not going to work the second time. And then on the third attempt, I got it right. So that second attempt is an example of I'm under pressure to get the bike back in 45 minutes. If I don't, there's a small penalty. If I don't get the bubble tea to the customer in time, there's a small penalty. And if I don't get back to the bus station to meet my wife, she's got to wait for me. I will not call that a penalty, though she is patient and would wait for me. I prefer that she not wait. So I got the bike, I got the bubble tea, I got an error on an invoice I'm trying to fix. And all these expectations of me uh, collided into the same 34 minutes. It was fantastic. It was exciting. It was an authentic training exercise. Now, training for what? Obviously not Navy SEALs. I don't know. I, I can't shoot. I could shoot a gun. I... Give me a gun, I pull the trigger, a bullet goes. But any type of marksmanship, any type of training, I've had none. And so my delivery on that occasion, three calls, plus my wife's call, plus the share bike, plus the bubble tea, all in a 34 minute period, combined to make, create some authentic pressure. And it was visible in my performance. If I had been with only one task, send invoice, I would have gotten it right the second time. Instead, it took me a third attempt to get it right. So with that, I'm going to bridge to DHL. Now, I 
take calls from uh, cold calls from the internet. People who are seeking the services of DHL. DHL is a premium price door-to-door -door international express service, usually for documents, cell phones, small things, important things that people are going to pay a premium price for. And they're under pressure to get these things far away according to a deadline, a deadline they're willing to pay for. And on that occasion, they're often stressed out. And these people, some of them, not all of them, but some of them are just crazy. Not crazy like they should be institutionalized, but crazy because they're not handling the pressure. Most of the time it's self-inflicted pressure and they're not handling it. So now I combine the authentic training of Uber Eats, the authentic training drill of Uber Eats, gives you some practice, gives me practice in the modern world. Are they able to, to differentiate good performance from great performance from terrible performance? And compare that to these DHL people. And listeners, I make this promise to you. If, if, if you do Uber Eats and you kind of look at it the way I do, consider it a training exercise for skills needed in the modern world. How do you operate your phone when you're under pressure? How do you operate your phone when you've got competing tasks? This is a training exercise in the modern world. And listeners, if you take my advice and you do this, you challenge yourself, you're gonna realize there's room for improvement. Just as I confess during this, I messed up on the second attempt. I needed a third attempt. If I'd been under less pressure, I would have, I would have gotten it done in two. So listeners, if you find there's room for improvement, I promise you, you on your worst day is not as bad as these DHL people. And quite honestly, they're handling, as far as I can tell, just one pressured event at a time. And they are mental, they are crazy. And you on your worst day will need, have less room for improvement than these people because they're just, some of them scream and they hang up and I'm the one that can help them accomplish what they say they want to accomplish. Sometimes they're rude to me. Sometimes they, they can't answer basic questions instead of saying what are you shipping and where is it going they end up going into these huge speeches under pressure that make no sense so listeners if you think you use my suggestion use uber eats and challenge yourself you're going to think you know i could have done better because you probably could have but i promise you you're not as bad as the dhl people the worst of my dhl people are always worse than your worst performance i can promise you that i don't know you but I can promise that that is true. This has been Tom Duty, middle-aged American living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you'd type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search for my site. Thank you for listening. Have a good day, good evening, a restful night's sleep. Ciao. at uh, Port Authority Bus Terminal, New York City, near the Lincoln Tunnel. Ciao.